Okay, so welcome back. It is December the 4th, 2022, and it is another unboxing of a new guitar. And this is yet another guitar from Pro Audio Star. This is a Squire Classic Vibe 60s thin line in the natural finish. And the backstory on this guitar is it was supposed to be delivered yesterday. I waited all day for it. It never showed up. Then mysteriously it went into pending mode, which is code for who knows and who cares. Delivery date unavailable. And it shows up on my front porch today. And if you look over here, the newest box in our pile of boxes is another new guitar, which we will unveil later on today. And it was not supposed to be delivered until tomorrow. And it just suddenly shows up on the front porch. So, yes, our good friends, and I hesitate to call them that, because they're really not our friends. At FedEx are not very efficient in the job that they do. Although, I will speak in their defense, they do deliver a gazillion packages every day on time to their intended destination. And I just get grumpy when it's mine that gets stuck in purgatory. So we're just going to whip this puff out. It's a bit chilly. Probably deserves to have some acclimation time, but my experience with these poly finish guitars are is they're very robust and they can handle it. So we'll see if this one can handle it. I mean, it wasn't brutally cold. It was in the 20s and the 30s. It wasn't like it was sub-zero weather or anything. So I think it would be fine. Again, they sort of shifted, Pro Audio Star sort of shifted their descriptions. The earlier batch of these guitars were being called used. And now they're calling them open box. This does not look like this box has ever been opened. Looks like I'm the first person since it left Indonesia to open the box. That's always a debatable issue. This thing is definitely cold to the touch, but again, I think a poly guitar can take the rigors of temperature change. I mean, just think about all the people out there who are working the clubs in the Midwest. Ooh, it looks very pretty. You, know, you never know when you look at the pictures exactly what it is that you're going to get. Some of these tend to have sort of a red tint to them, sort of look sort of reddish. Um, I can't pronounce the name of the wood. We're going to have to untangle this thing. This is uh, NATO wood, which is just the abbreviation for some long-winded NATO blah 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 blah. Fred ends again as with all these, have been just super duper. A little bit of schmutz. That feels nice and substantial. For some reason they jack up the bridge pickups action. It looks nice. So let's just get a beauty shot of it. I'm going to let it warm up for about 20 minutes and then tune it up and play it. And then we'll be back with some comments. And we'll do our second guitar of the day. Again, I I don't like getting two guitars in one day. It doesn't really allow me a chance to get to know them. Let's just look for the neck pocket crack. Telecasters don't seem to have that problem as much as Stratocasters. Seems like no issues. It is really pretty. If I can use the word pretty, 
and I think I will. And I bet this puppy weighs in in the six and a half pound range. So, yeah. We'll go take it for a test drive and we will be back. Okay, we're back. It has been a few hours. Again, it is December the 4th, 2022. To those of you who think, why does this guy say the date all the time? Well, as you get older, you start forgetting things. So then I wonder, did I say the date? I've probably said it two or three times. But if you're younger, you'll find out soon enough. If you're older, you'll totally get what I'm saying. So, I've played this guitar now for about two hours. And it's another wow. It's really a cool guitar. You'll notice I put on the often discarded cover, which I happen to really like. A lot of people don't like it. It turns out I don't palm mute very often, so it makes no difference to me, and it's a nice place to rest my palm. So I actually enjoy that on my Telecasters. And since I purchased a couple of them, I thought, I think I'll pop it on. Um, a really nice guitar. Again, the price, unbelievable. $219. From Pro Audio Star, I think their sales coming to an end today or tomorrow, but I have a feeling that they're going to keep selling these guitars for this price until their inventory withers away because I think they made a big purchase from Fender and they made a deal. Fender obviously made way too many of these guitars thinking that the pandemic rush for guitars was going to go on forever and that was foolish logic on their part as with all things. I'm sure they made a ton of money, but the truth of the matter is, is that all good things must come to an end. So, I love the tone of this guitar, the color. I call it root beer. They say natural. I guess, I don't know if NATO wood actually is a dark wood like this, very mahogany looking, but it's really nice. The fit and the finish on this guitar is wonderful. Fret ends are nice. Again, I don't know if they're polishing the frets on these, but there's no scratchiness on the frets at all. It's intonated perfectly for my imperfect ears. I tuned it up, stretched the strings a couple times, holds the tune really nice. As with all these guitars, and thus far I've only gotten one that didn't have these Cluson style tuners. The tuners are really stiff. I don't know if it's if they were installed weird, if they're just new and they're going to loosen up with time, I have no idea. So they don't work as well as one would hope for a guitar in this price range, albeit this guitar is in a very modest price range. But once you do get in tune, they seem to hold the tune just fine. And after stretching the strings twice, again, just been playing really wonderful. So I have nothing but raves for this guitar. This is a guitar that more than likely I'm going to end up keeping. Unlike these boxes over here, not that there's anything wrong with these guitars, but I have to say that the 50s Telecasters and the 60 uh, Custom at 8 pounds, that's a bit heavy. And again, I haven't weighed this yet, but I'm guessing it comes in just under 7 or low 7s, which is really a comfortable weight. This guitar really resonates too, which well, I guess one would expect, although in a thin line, this is the only part of the body that's hollow. So it's not like it's a full, you know, you can feel the center block and this is all solid wood. But man, it sustains. Wonderful. You do a nice bend and pull on it and it just hangs there. Um, you know, a lot of people may not like the Perloid pick guard. I like it. I think it sets off the guitar really nice. And of course the thin line has the different shape of the pick guard, which I think is really nice. And the wood grain on this guitar is very subtle, but it's very pretty. It's very nice. You can see that it's probably three pieces here, maybe four. Um, but yeah, it just really it just looks really nice. It's very subdued. And again, like I said, I call it a root beer color because that's what it looks like to me. It looks like root beer. So, I give this guitar two thumbs up. Really nice guitar. I wish they used a little bit less of the poly finish 
on the neck and the fingerboard. I don't know how many sprays they give it. It'd be nice if they were just a little lighter on that. But again, that's just a preference point. Everyone has different preferences. So that would be my preference. But anyways, so this is a Squire Classic Vibe 60s Thin Line Telecaster in what they call a natural finish. And it's just really a nice guitar. I've never owned one. I do have the Cabronita Paranormal Series. Um, but of course it has the Jazzmaster slash P90 pickup, so it's a totally different guitar. Feel-wise it feels the same, but sound-wise, and that's why I wanted to try this. I'd never had a thin line with the classic Telecaster two single coil pickup setup, and very happy with it. Really, actually I did have another, I had a, a fake one, but it was, it didn't cut it at all, so it was sent down the road. So now we have another guitar, and again, this was unexpected thanks to FedEx's really, really, really bad tracking system. So I'm going to put this one away and get the next one ready. I have to go enlist the help of the cat, who's going to be very mad. So thank you for joining me for this one. The next guitar we have coming up, well, I'll just wait till the next video to tell you what it is. I think I already let it slip out earlier. So. We'll be right back.